Uh, I'll now recognize Ms. Radawagan for five minutes. Talofa. Thank you, Chairman LaMalfa, Vice Chairman Gonzalez Colon, Ranking Member Torres for holding this hearing today, and thank you, members of the panel, for coming in to give your testimony. Secretary Domnich, it's great to see you as always. The FY 2019 budget proposal included a suggested $1.2 million cut to the American Samoa Operations Grants account, but fortunately, the Appropriations Committee in the House saw fit to approve a $250,000 increase. And now, once again, the FY 2019 proposal makes a similar suggested cut. Now, $1.2 million is not much money if you're a state but our island's economy is delicate, and it remains a tremendous amount for our local government to absorb. Being the most economically challenged state or territory in the nation, due to our economic and geographic isolation, American Samoa has been the grateful recipient of funding from the Department of the Interior to supplement funding for local government operations, including the local and only community college on the island, the judiciary, the Department of Education, and the only hospital in the territory, which is well over 60 years old. While I understand the need for austerity measures, they simply cannot come on the backs of the most economically challenged people in our nation, a people who love this country so much, as demonstrated by our record rate of enlistment into the armed forces, ranking first in the nation again last year for Army recruitment. The reasoning behind the proposed cut is to promote self-sufficiency on the island. To that end, I would like to thank the Department of Interior and Secretary Zinke for his recommendation regarding our marine monument. The expansion of the monuments under the previous administration has taken its toll on our local economy, and I urge the President to implement the Secretary's recommendation as soon as possible. It's a good step forward in helping American Samoans quite literally feed and support themselves. As I'm sure you're aware, the President declared a major disaster in American Samoa due to Cyclone Gita at the beginning of this month on March 2nd. While direct funding for disaster relief is an important part of any recovery process, I've also been pushing for alternative funding measures that help our local government reinvest in the territory and provide more stability over the long term. In addition to Fishing access, these suggestions include a small increase of $400,000 to the operations account due to the effects of Cyclone Gita. I've also suggested to leadership and the related committees that we be granted parity under Medicaid and temporary fee match waivers so we can more readily draw down funds that already exist. American Samoans are a proud people and we don't take the funding we receive for granted. My stance regarding the operations account is the same as it was last year. We do not want any handouts. We just ask for equitable treatment and the tools to grow and prosper along with the rest of the nation. I yield back the rest of my time. 